And welcome back. Squad Ops, Misk Walker, round two. This is a one life event for anyone that isn't familiar with it. On the squad engine. On uh, scenario driven events. Uh, this one is called Mist Walker. Infantry only map. Or infantry only scenario. Uh, basically, attack and defend over a position on this peninsula. With some stipulations that infantry can only cross bridges. Um, but other than that, it's pretty free form. The militia start in their base, the Russians start in their standard base, and it's a foot race. Bring up a little uh, overlay for you to check out some of the assets. Alright, so it's pretty basic. Like I just said, uh, each squad gets two ARs, two medics, uh, which is a little bit different from a lot of the ops that we do. We're usually to be one AR. One GL, one LAT, one medic, something like that. This one, we're taking out a lot of the explosives, adding a little bit more healing power in there. But uh, yeah, infantry only and grenades. Second page, go over the objectives a little bit, which I just briefly touched on. It's basically attack and, attack and defend. Whichever team gets there first can establish a FOB and then throw down a couple of sandbags or a machine gun if they have enough points for it. Uh, there's no... Um, supply dumps, so resources are limited, but uh, then once they throw that fob down, they are on defense. The opposing team is tasked with digging them out. Generally, the militia get there first, uh, so they set up the fob, but you never know what happens. Yeah. No, it's Best ponies know for doing some, some crazy oh, plans, so for those with guns out. Like looks like they're going for a here we go, platoon brief starting over here. Listen in. Figure out what militia's plans are. Cool, on the right hand side. Alright. Do I have one? I have one? Somebody tell me. Looks like we're gonna get the militia brief here. Beanies, get out there on the left. Who stole my kill? Apparently I stole your pistol kill at the end of the round. I mean, I didn't really care. I'm just gonna throw one up with us in Jalong. Yeah, hey, that, that's why that's why I was like, oh, snaps, I was X if I didn't have anything else. I was, yeah, I ran out of AK mag killing two people up by my bunker. Lizard hand. <laughs> the gate. Oh, I killed that guy for you, I think. The, the gate. Matthews. <laughs> Organized <laughs> chaos over here. Oh, they're waiting for one guy. That's what's going on. So yeah, first of all, last round, great work. All of you, that was uh, that was probably, that was a great platoon line, honestly. We just made a big line, and we just volume of fired them to death. Like, they, they would come into contact, and they'd have one squad fighting all of us at the same time, and they'd just, they'd just turn tail and run, because it was just, it's it's frightening having 40 people just open up on you with AKs. Um, yeah, that was great work by all of you. You all did fantastic jobs. Uh, we're going to do it again this round. So, <clears throat> we're militia, which means we get some distinct advantages. If we move really quickly, just like sprint straight for the uh, the peninsula, we can get there first. But, but probably a minute or two, right? Like, unless they're really sprinting hard for it, we're, we're going to get there first, you know, with a minute or two to spare. So, what we're going to do is when we get there, squad one is going to set up right on the rocks. Krusty will direct you as to how he wants to exactly set up, but you're, you're going to hold that position. Basically, we're going to do what I, I think they should have done. So it's all good, I've heard a mark shit myself. Squad 2, Win. they're gonna stand... Hmm? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, so this so one's on the green fob mark. Squad 2, they're gonna post up right to the left of them. And they, you, those those two squads, are gonna basically hold off any push they send in from Neva Lower, or from the, the side of the river, or from across the, the bridge. Right? So that's, that area's gonna be locked down. Then, in case they try to flank left, this whole kill, this is a kill zone right there on that sniper mark because it's huge and open. There's not much cover. And squad three, they're going to be hanging out on this hill and at the bunkers, or the one bunker there. And they are going to absolutely destroy anyone who tries to flank squads one and two from the left. If squads one and two get flanked from the right, they can fall back or they can just destroy them since they're going to have, you know, they're going to be fighting from on top of the hill defending against people trying to rush up to the side of it. Now, squad four. Or sorry, no, not Squad 4. Sorry, Squad 4 is the one, um, my bad. Squad 4 is the one here. Squad 3 is actually going to be at the objective. Down here. Squad 3 and band are going to set up a dishka in this little bunker, right? We've got a, a dishka right here. And it's going to cover 
more or less this direction, right? And that's that's just going to be that's going to be for support. That that dishka will cover kind of a swath down there. We'll also be able to observe if they cross the train bridge bridge and start trying to flank around. We'll be able to see them coming, so that won't be a problem. Then, basically, we're just going to set up that line. We're going to strong point. If if one and two are forced back, we form a new platoon line on the peninsula. If they're forced back again, we we force we form a new line, including the fob, and we defend it until either we all die or they all die. It's it's going to be we're going to play it very simple. Just just you know keep working together like you did last round. People from different squads were kind of intermingled all over the place during that assault, supporting each other, healing each other, tossing smokes for one another, covering each other. It was it was great. It's fantastic teamwork. Let's just, just keep it up, and we should do fine. Uh, any any question? Is the what would you call closed? this defense? This defense? Yeah, what would you call it? Hmm. Onion. It's the onion. Uh, it's the it's L the that L. we're gonna give the other team. It's the yeah. L we're gonna <laughs> give the team. There you go. We don't take no, we don't take no L's, boys. Hoorah! We don't we take no L's. Hoorah! All right, and then there's another more serious question. <laughs> Trying to fire the boys up, Pony. Leave me alone. Okay, or was, was there not a word? Well, who, so what was the other question? Be? I heard someone else besides Muff asked something. What was what? it? Brick and wood. Huh? He, he right. is, uh, Operation he... Wall. What? Okay, so if there's mud, no other questions, we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, ready up for live. Uh, go go stage it back by the camp. We can't start from here. I wish we could. That'd make it. I'm gonna I'm gonna easier. I'm gonna hype the boys up. I'm gonna hype them up. Yeah yeah. Jack, you're, you're the hype man. No, you're Jack. Let's get us first. Hype man. Just don't Guys, don't we are war. <laughs> all right, there's a militia brief. I like it. Concentrating the forces all in one area. Uh, not too tight of a defense. You don't want everyone in the same building, but it looks like they got two or three lines. Good covering. Good fields of fire? Yeah, I like it. Right at this gray area here. We can see you guys We're ready. I was trying to read the uh, the marks that Russia was putting down earlier, and it looks like they may try to push right into the southern end of the peninsula. So before we saw the Russians go north, this time it looks like they may be going south and going directly to the fortification. But that is I, uh that's a tough approach. We'll see how yeah. it goes. I, mean, I could be miss. They were yeah. talking about that kill box. They're gonna walk right into that, and militia yeah. should get there first. So this could be a quicker op. I hope I'm really bad at reading map marks, and that's not the case. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to decipher from just the map marks, right? So twisted rage, just getting home. What is the op? He asks. This is Operation Mistwalker. Infantry only, pack and defend, based on basically everyone's fighting over this the peninsula and the buildings on it. So the team that gets there first the establishes an OP. The other team has right, to, to take them out. Away until it's actually... I think they have them away. They do. Last time er they had uh, pulled out a couple guns in preparation, like a minute before. So we got a nice full op. Thirty-eight players on one side, and then we got us two and the admin, and thirty-nine on the other. So perfectly even, almost as even as you can be. So we got some downtime. I'm going to go over to the squad leaders for militia real quick. Uh, squad one is Crusty the Sailor. Squad two is Burns. Three is Nasty Nate. Four is LaRue. And in command is Best Pony. On the Russian side, we got Creeping as squad one. Chappy as squad two. I think this is maybe his second or third op squad leading. Turtle Guy five in squad three. And Server Error in squad four. And Shadow Ritual is going to be commanding the Russians this side. And squad leading is difficult. Um, I don't know if people have done it. They think it's easy in regular squad. Uh, this is a whole new level. The adrenaline is maxed. Your attention is high because if you screw up, you're you're killing your buddies. You're letting your team down, and uh, it's one life, so it's really easy to make a mistake. But the uh, also the mistake can be, you know, not being decisive and not making a decision. So people think they can do it. It's real easy. We encourage you to. Join us and check it out, but uh, oh, yeah, it's a whole other level. It's great. And it looks like we're live. They're off. The races. Thanks to my Adidas jug. Militia. Miles. Organized blob. Um, we're just we're going we're we're going the most direct route. We're vectoring. Aim yourself on the mini map for the bridge and walk there. So yeah, on the uh, both the commentary cameras are gonna be militia or blue, Russian or red. But if we ever switch to a Russian camera, of course, uh, it'll be the opposite for them.
You can also tell from the camo if you're familiar with the game. Russians are a little bit more uniform. They got the dark green with the uh, Ooh, regular cold. helmets. And now you have some <laughs> chatter. <laughs> All the chatter. Yeah, I got, I got, guys, I got some extra food bags. We're going you guys to Mordor. Oh, the screenshots are so good. Thank you. Cool. Oh, Half my squad just Igor Para. Uh, uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of your name. Uh, what is the typo operation? Basically, attack and defend. Okay. <laughs> you little caveats in there, but infantry only, attack and defend. The bonus is that the first team you're there can set a fob down and use the whatever limited points they have to put down some kind of defenses. It is a defensible position. You've got a river at your back and nice open fields in front of you for the most part. But once they get in really close, um, this pillbox. This little fortress is uh, kind of a grenade death trap once they get on the other side of the walls. These pillboxes are interesting because you can actually set up a militia machine gun inside of these. And then uh, if it's poking out this window here, if it's the shielded type, it's almost impossible to take out the person on it. You've got to have a very accurate shot to come right down the barrel. You know, like guy in the face, but you're not going to hit his legs. You can't really hit the sides of him because he's totally covered by this thing, so... I think Best Pony's going to set one of those up in the, uh, what, southwest pillbox. He said he was going to have it try to watch this. The camera steady, watch this direction. And here's that kill field they were talking about. We're going to... With uh, some concealment. We're going to just all mad dash across the bridge, But right? uh, not a lot of hardcover besides some trees. Easy to get stuck in here. So you get to the edge of the trees, all of a sudden you've got a lot of vectors facing you. We'll see how it goes. You got a good cover system, good yeah, bounding, in our old a lot of smoke. Last round. Be done. I just got there. What do the Russians up to over here? Are they stopping or are they so we are at charging in? Three, four, and five Looks like they're pushing two squads to the north and two squads to the south. So three, four, and five uh, are going to be going along the riverbank. Like two are going to go north of the railroad tracks, and two are going to try to maybe set up on the bridge area. Hmm. See if they try to cross. That actually might work well for them to get a couple fire teams, uh, fire team or two up in the hills behind and across the river. They can distract and suppress. Right. Maybe get a couple good kills. Your man, your guy, buddy. <laughs> I don't think he read the bridge. Uh, apparently a late join yeah, on the uh, militia mistakenly ran across the river. Oh. Like he literally, I think he just gets OTT during the Bidman session. I don't even think he read the briefing doc. He just like <laughs> had no idea. That's an interesting was. consequence of having SOTT yeah, between the morning and afternoon yeah, session. You get some brand new people in here, which is great. Wherever you, wherever you have good cover, hope they're having a blast on it. Yeah, think up your escape route too. Last round, Fox Mulder. We'll see if he can do it again. I think he picked up four pistol kills. That's, I think that's a squad out first. Maybe one pistol kill, sure, but he racked up three or four. It's pretty impressive. Didn't OD Tap have a pistol holdout for a while? I don't think he got four kills with it, though. I saw a screenshot, I think, of that where he, uh, yeah, ran out with his, uh, with his pistol for his final blaze as he was the last guy. I didn't hear Someone's it. breaking his house right now. He needs to get his fever out. Krusty's calling out contact here. Wow, uh, that's long range. I can't believe they saw that.
I mean, talk about extreme range. Spraying wildly into the trees there. Fuck a stain on top of me, just unload. Meanwhile, that kill box we were talking about it seems wide open. The teams on the rock are not looking that way. And this Russian team, this Russian squad, slipping right in there. Yep. Oh, now they're taking fire on the, the riverside. Wow, someone saw them through that mess? Yeah. Must have been a squad leader directing fire or something. Yeah, without binoculars, that's tough. Resuming their approach. Maybe it was an ND. Someone just sprayed in that direction. Oh, well, they definitely can't sit there for very long. And we'll see. Every every round so far, we've had a squad that try to approach along this river, and they always get bogged down here. Roughly where this guy's at. Sometimes they get a little bit further along the shore, but it's always... Yep. The Rue calls out kill zone. Moving into the kill zone. Oh, where's this guy going? He's uh, hiding behind some excellent cover here. Some reeds and a six inch rock. Oh, what? Where did this guy come from? Okay. Yeah, I can see really they're, they're so this right here, yeah, he's not supposed to be doing that. Not supposed to be crossing water here. Oh, this Russian squad down here is just pinned now. Yep. Go. Yep, they got bogged down. We'll address that later on. Back in the squad. Wow, they got so many people stuck behind this rock. Good thing there's no GLs. Right. That rock's gonna get smaller and smaller. Copy that. They're, they're on the other side of the river. Uh, just south of U3. Hey, send a fire team for. Send a fire team to try and deal with that closer. Across the river? Go yeah, across the river. Send them across the river. Go across the train bridge? Yeah, yeah, across the train bridge. Alright, so that guy crossed the river and drowned. That's the consequence. Got to know the rules. I mean, Trio wasn't trying to be malicious about it, but... Gotta follow the rules. Bravo. Russians totally stalled out on their approach. Militia doing a good job holding that line. Two, two squads spread across that knoll and the rocks. A couple of sandbags laid out here. All right, squad two, you're shooting at dead bodies. Be advised, squad two, you're shooting at dead bodies. Sandbags behind Copy. concealment. I like it. I'm gonna make sure this island's legit. So.
So we went over it before. No crossing rivers, but this, with these logs, it's okay to get across on this one. On the little, little tiny island just south of the objective. There's about a three foot crossing. This is not where that guy crossed. The guy had to drown. He actually crossed the river twice. Interesting. Okay, so the Russians have a fire team up on the uh, up on the train bridge here. Uh, hopefully, to get behind them. hopefully to help suppress so that this other squad truck in the river can get out or something. Yeah, if they can move across there real quick, they're going to be kind of exposed once they get spotted. Train bridge is rough. There's no way to get I'll tell off. You tell you one thing this this squad here in the fortress is burning a ton of ammo copy just get them to sweep this uh, the edge of the uh, river on that side of the bridge should I should I looks like they made it off the train bridge undetected um four man fire team your call from whatever you see back. let's see where are they going to get to we're basically supporting squad 4 uh, as soon as they get pushed on we're supposed to be defending them not a lot of great positions over here unless they go up higher that give you good line of sight in on that bunker. You can provide suppression, but accurate fire is going to be tough with all those trees in the way. Doesn't look like they're going to make any headway. I'm shooting about 315 right in that neck of the woods. Yeah, Muff down in the yeah, on this yeah, uh, little yeah, island is in right bad there. position for these guys, though. There we go. Here comes some taps. Yeah, Russia command just went down, so it's not going to help this assault. It's pretty broken up, it seems like. Muff taking fire. He's running. He's bandaging. All right, this fire team up here taking a lot of heat. It's probably their job. Danny Umloff asked a question. quick question. Why is there a rule to crossing rivers? Uh, we just do that to try to drive drive the scenario a little bit. If you leave the river crossings totally open, and you can cross anywhere, it, it's just hard hard to make it a little bit more tactical, right? This drives the scenario for us, makes those bridges very tactical, as they would be in real life. You wouldn't, I mean, a 30, 40, 50 foot river going across, you probably wouldn't want to throw a infantry troop across that necessarily. Yeah, there's some ops where the river you can cross on this map and some of that around. It just depends on the op and the scenario. And and a lot of the ops will let uh, infantry cross the rivers, but vehicles must cross bridges. <laughs> oh, I just saw a guy physically twitch after he got shot at. That was hilarious. <laughs> Did you did you see that? Oh, the shot yeah. lands next to him, and he he must have jerked his mouse ten inches because his gun went straight up into the air. <laughs> uh, this fire team over here doing a good job of attracting a lot of attention. That killbox squad though, not able to make a lot of progress. It sounds like Krusty's calling out this squad to the north here of Russians. They're smoking the road. I don't know if they're going to actually try to approach or not. Oh, they're crossing. Are we pushing or holding? We're into that hard cover in the buildings to our south. Yeah, good smoke. Smoke screen on the road. I don't know if that's going to help them too much. I mean, getting down by the river, I guess it's nice to flank on that side because you know that no one's on going to be further on the flank than you are but it's not a doesn't have a ton of avenues oh maybe they're foregoing that crossing now they're moving back how would you crack this uh, militia defense here if you were say you uh, had perfect intel and you knew exactly where the militia squads were I would definitely have two squads focus their firepower on something, either one flank or the other, and just try to move guys up and bound. Right, 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 right. Contacts on the other side of the river. Other side of the river. 
Anywhere you move right now, they're getting caught in the crossfire. It's just nothing but open ground. All right, we've got full squad on the south end and even lower. They're currently a full squad. Russia, Russia commands down, so the attack's kind of stalled. You got squads all over the place. Uh, I missed that. We lost, lost Shadow Ritual. Well, yep. It looks like they're gathering in Neva though, so that might be that might be good for them. All clear, red house. All right, left side of the house. Those are pretty even. Left Six side of the house four. is exposed. He's throwing smoke. All right, you pop back in. Don't forget, Reloading. we're still exposed to other directions. We got a full squad to our northwest. Yeah, uh, we have, we have, uh, yeah, we have a couple of three angle fire from west, my uh, west. We're firing at red house. We're moving. We're moving. Don't worry. Smoke Pretty decent right communication on the militia side. We're here yeah, over command comms. All right, I need an ammo from the hill too. They're gonna try to it's hard to remain ammo. calm and, and uh, convey the Are you guys... accurate and concise information when you're coming under I'm fire. Good. But it was that weird Preston's lag doing thing. a pretty good job staying calm. Another smoke wall coming up. Well, they may actually be able to crumble yep. this uh, rock here. Sounds like Presty's like, pulling back. Yeah, sounds like they're suppressing pretty well. And yep, they're falling back. And here comes the Russian team. That's what the little fire superiority will do for you. I don't know if they had superior. Well, yeah, they they did. I scared them off. That's for sure. <laughs> yep, it was enough. Take a look at this this rock. It seems to be pretty key in every time we run this up. It is a major feature on this one. You've got the rock, the hill, and the swamp. Okay, once those smoke develop, we're gonna push again. Once the smoke develop, we're gonna push again. Grimble Evans, oh. About one four, one four two, across the road. I saw him move. One four two. Okay, mixed company use local. Mixed company use local. We still got that four man fire team across the river. Drawing a good fire up there. Is this guy alive? No. Died by a sandbag. All right, so the militia more or less consolidated into their final line of defense here. I guess they have one, one more line they could fall back to. Hopefully, they yeah, can I think pick up that, some more kills before they have to. I think Russia just seems to be a little patient right now. That southern squad along the river is kind of making slow progress, which is good. But this northern squad, uh, Russia needs to take that hill. Sounds like the militia might open up with this disco pretty soon. I've heard a couple shots come out for it. Yeah, let's, how's the placement on that? How does that look? Yep. Let's see what that looks like from the outside. Yep, just a barrel and sheets of metal sticking out. And a very determined looking militia behind it. <laughs> Squad 4 has finally made that push along the uh, Southwest River. Oh, these guys are running through the river left, right, and center here. We need to clamp down on that. Yeah, Russia's making progress on the Northeast River, too. Here, command comms picking up a little bit, a little confusion starting to set in. Yeah, watch those railroads. Yeah, it always happens as people get in tight. 
three pipes. I have six pipes in the slip down. Okay, uh, just set up a sandbag. Yeah, we sandbag cover over here. They're actually in a great position now. They got that squad underneath them that they can cover. Muff sees that uh, you guys train track guys up there. Let's see if we can pull off some one taps here. All right, I see him 210, 200, 195 going almost. They're going to be pushing straight south of us. That's where they're moving to. Trying to get a full circle on us. On my bank? India. Uh, India. Yeah, like 100, 100 meters. India 811, India 811, enemy's pushing on my farm right there. Gets their heads down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, from uh, your southwest. Alright, that was my last band aid, so I'm gonna be chilling with you for a while. Well, here, you want me to bandage okay. you? Oh, fuck. It's too late. I'm pretty close to dying. So. That squad coming around the side. Got a good flank on here. I don't think a lot of people are looking southwest at this point. Muff's down here, but he's not looking at him. Sees that smoke come out. Oh, here we go. That's all we want to do. Hopefully he's calling them out over squad comms. Getting here a grenade out. Here comes the push rush. Along the push along the coast. Server are moving up here. Getting real close. Interesting. It's like they're moving. They're tossing the smoke such a distraction and flanking. Oh, Muff about to get tapped. Russians are pretty well behind them at this point, so they got a full flank going on with cover from above. Command. All right, I think we got enemies on the west side of two's position. Yeah, we've right on the east side. We've enemies on the south side of the objective. They just threw smokes into us, so we were gonna get down here shortly. Russians still have good. Excuse me, the militia still have plenty of bodies left. The Russians are moving in a great position here. Who's this moving up? Server arrow. Getting within grenade range of the bunker. Here we go. He's on the wall. Ooh, these guys throws a grenade out. He's gonna throw a frag in. Is that frag in? I think it was good. <laughs> he knows he's wow. What it went through and out the other side. Amazing. <laughs> throws the second one up and over. Before getting shot down. Oh, wow, both of his went too far. All of a sudden, the southern push down to two people. Southern flank. Wow, down to one. Nope, never mind. He went prone. Oh, nope, nope. Another kills out here. Wow, it's still pretty even. Militia are actually ahead as far as kills go. Yeah, they've got a strong force in here. It's just they're surrounded. Two, how you doing? Two, how you doing? 
Although, at what point does it become, I'm locked in here with you, no, you're locked in here with me. Yeah, like you mentioned before, it's a, it's a grenade den, so. Yeah, that's true. They do have pretty good spacing. I feel like any grenade in there could only get two people max. And they really don't have anyone that can throw them at this point. This has just been a war of attrition. Just constant long range, medium range engagements. This ain't good. Whittling down forces, making people bleed here and there, the occasional kill, but. Yep. Lone little uh, fire team out there is just uh, pinned too. They can't move anywhere. Yeah. Here goes uh, militia fire team sensing weakness in the Russian line and moving up on the right flank. And they've nailed it on the head right here. These Russians are in full retreat. Right in front of us. Wait, militia going to catch them with their pants down here. Drops one. Second one. Oof, takes two. Somehow survives that. Nice game sense, whoever made that call to push out there. That grenade came in real close. Wounded both of them. Suppressing fire takes that guy out. Only one left here on the uh, the Russians, and he's about to get flanked. Here comes the flank. AK to the back of the head. He just gave away his position, too. There we go. There he is. Oh, he gets taken out before he... Oh, hate that feeling. Zekara, yeah, that was stolen. Good job on the flank, though. That's it for the north. Oh, it looks like Militia's got the advantage here. We've got a little fire team of Russia on the east side of the river. One or two guys uh, dispersed to the southwest of the fortress. It's going to be just pretty much mopping up for the militia now. Yeah, that's I it. Went from even to 29 to 19 right now. So yeah, four, five total left on Russia. Maybe just four. I'm going to pick I said. Still to the west of command one, building. Command yep. We lost man. Oh, okay. Alright, be advised, command Command's just went clear, down. Alright, uh, we're just yeah, pretty much cleaning them up. Um, they're gonna have to push to us. Alright, we still got two uh, enemies located on the west side, off. east of the um, river. Try to point out west of the southern building. I'm gonna be flying. Kind of a democracy right now, it sounds like, but mate's, Nate is, uh, making the correct call that they gotta come to us. So we'll just let them do that. Yeah, sometimes it's the best thing to do, let them make the move, and you, that way you can see the movement while you're holding still. Oh. Oh. Close to them. Oh, who's coming down then? A lot At of people. Me. Are you South of me. Burns? Burns, are you coming in? South of me. Hello. Gunshots. <laughs> yes, Krusty oh, joining us on way. Twitch there. there. Yeah, yeah, your, your, uh, your flank worked great. Sense that weakness and moved into kill. So. Nice. Yeah, yeah they are. Oh, now there seems to be only two Russians left here on the South River. Do you want to, do you want to shoot? Shoot one to the other river because you're getting close to where I've been seeing fire coming from. Shoot me to your west. Looks like these Russians down by the river got spotted. They're in a tough spot here with no backup. They're out in that kill zone. Not any good avenues of approach. 
and they can't retreat. They are totally boxed in at this point. Who is this? Triton and Flea Fud Moth. Flea Fud takes one on the shoulder right there. Militia moving in for the kill. They know they wounded him. Throwing our side of the river bison too. Here comes an execution. Oh, dropped. Dropped over here, so now we just got one left across the river. Lone soldier, red rose dragon. Got a near impossible task here. He's gonna have to cross it open. I think these guys are looking this way. They're looking, looking east, right towards them. Oh, yep, they spotted him. He's he is a medic, so he'll be, he'll be able to patch him himself easily. Wow, he takes another one in the ass. That was a good shot. He is the right class for lone wolfing, though. Yep, you better crawl. Get your head down and crawl. Take a more it takes another round. Get another bandage out. <laughs> Firing back. What are you going to shoot? Oh, wow. And uh, volume of fire takes him out. So that's it. Round two, Mistwalker. Militia locking it down. Good battle, intense rounds. Good stuff. Yeah, I think we're definitely uh, starting to see some patterns evolve on this map. Some kill zones that they just, man, they just keep people keep trying it, and it just keeps not working out. Especially this uh, southwest area. Great job, everyone. Stray dog we with don't six. Take L, hey. We don't take L. Silverman with four. <laughs> Good job, guys. We don't take Noel. We don't, we don't take, take Noel. Noel. That was a that was a fun round to watch. Yeah, squad ops at GG, check us out. I was Mist Walker, one of our infantry ops. Any final thoughts here? Well, I think uh I think we saw that, you know, same kind of approaches, but um I think uh the pony's approach was to focus his firepower and overwhelm a single point and then just keep pushing from there. And I think Shadow's approach was more of a encircle them with fire and then uh, wherever they feel a weakness to go ahead and probe it. So both. I, I really feel like either approach can work. It just yeah, comes down valid. to individual engagements and which team overall has more accurate shots. Because, yeah, there were no major plays in that one. It was all just positioning and and long range engagements, that attrition, whittling down, no, no yeah. wipes, no squad wipes, just yeah, one here, one there. Being an infantry op, but you're, you're limited to your tools. You gotta rely on your rifle to be accurate and get survival. Playing your tactics as a squad and in a fire team. It's a matter of execution once you hit that uh, hit that first contact. Let's see if we want to try to yeah. Let's see if we can get the commanders in here for a quick. Debrief. It's always fun. See what their perspective was on it. What went wrong, what went right. Who their favorite player was. Let's see. Fast pony coming in. Just one second here.
Hey, Best, you with us? This pony man? Maybe. Not quite. Almost. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm now. I'm. There he is. <laughs> All right, we got shadowed as well. So overall thoughts, round one. You can remember. What? Uh, what? Uh, favorite moments. I felt that I had a really like solid defense on round one. Like we were we were holding them back until that once they like we we knew where they were for most of it. They just ponies platoon was just able to outshoot us. Like we I I didn't feel like our the defense was the weak point. It was just you know just individuals just they 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 just outshot us. We had a really good flank going on. But it, it was good though. Like we knew where they were. Just it was yeah. They were they were just really good at shooting. Which is, yeah, it's, since yeah. there's no explosion. I, I would say from my perspective, my plan was to... Or no, sorry. I didn't know no, you go ahead. That, that was basically All right. It. Yeah, I, I would say from my perspective, my plan was designed to create just volume of fire for my whole team on one hard point at a time. It worked very effectively. Like, even even when we weren't expecting contact up on that hill, we, we put a massive... We put 40 people's worth of fire on a couple people who were up there on that ridge and then forced it back, and then we encountered another... Fire, fire on them, forced them back, encounter the rocks, just poured fire on that, forced it back, and that was that was basically how it went. We would we would encounter enemy resistance, we would all start shooting at it in this kind of like pell mell, just onslaught of AK-74 fire, and we'd had medics helping each other, you know, getting people healed up. We had a lot of people throwing smoke grenades for each other, even if they weren't in the same squad. We we basically intermingled our infantry from all the squads in this one big kind of blob formation using the, the cover that was available to us and it worked it worked out really well we overwhelmed them i'll give you the old crusty commander's opinion here i think shadows uh, shadows defense was pretty good i think the thing that killed killed shadows uh line of defense was moving off that uh, northern northern mound yeah it was there. a tough choice to, to pull off of that but we they the way pony was moving you know just moving in this mass yep. fire it, it there was no there's no real cover on that peninsula besides those uh besides the actual compounds and then the, the little square went to the, the northwest and right. so it was, it was a tough decision maybe we could have held out a little bit longer but i thought we were being overwhelmed and the only reason i say that is because if creeping squad if the flanking squad on the outside was been there maybe two minutes earlier it would have been a, a way different approach for a pony it's, it's oh, yeah. When, when you got a full platoon pushing you, it's kind of nice to have that maneuvering flanking squad to pull off some of the pressure so that you can either uh, reestablish fire superiority or flank them and cause you know, havoc and chaos in their, in their back lines. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I there for a little too long, I felt like, because I, I was starting to get a little antsy there towards the end, but then we, we took the hill and just kept moving. Through the, yeah. there, in hindsight, what, five, that's... maybe ten minutes. Yeah, that we we were holding them off at, at the the road. That was our, our point. Like we're, we're the initial goal was to stop them from crossing the roads, any any of the roads, and uh, we may have been able to hold it. That in hindsight, that's probably what I should have done. We just tried to hold off them, hold them off of the roads a little bit longer before pulling back. And we got pretty oversaturated at the objective. They were just able to swing in and uh, just uh, pick us off. Thanks. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that pretty much agrees to uh, the way we were seeing it. That volume of fire coming down was uh, pretty tough to stop and impressive to see. That, that first fire team that encountered that wall of lead, um, it was pretty pretty, pretty comical. We were down there, we heard the buddy team was out on the, the spearhead introducing themselves to each other. You know, like, hey, my name's so-and-so. I don't like turtles. What's your name? Before we die, we should know, you know, a little bit more about each other. And not 20 <laughs> seconds later, um, yeah, shit hit the fan. So it was pretty great. Not every, as, as Pony said earlier, it's not every day you get 40 people shooting at you at once, and uh, those guys got to feel that. So it was pretty great. Alrighty. Well, again, uh, I'm Tedish. Xbit was with me, and we got uh, Best Pony and. Uh, Shadowed Ritual in here as our commanders. Uh, another awesome op here. Squadops.gg. Check us out. One Life Events. Join us. Easy to join. Great community. Yeah. But uh, that's going to do it for us tonight. Next op. Next Wednesday. I have to check. Uh, anyone know what we're running right now? I don't have it up in front of me. It is. Hold on. I got it. 
next Wednesday is Spartan Trail. Spartan Trail. I don't know if I've actually done that one. What? Sounds familiar. It's a really great op. It's yeah. a fantastic op. They're all good, right? One of my favorites on Shora. Which op? Which ops are you like? Eh, screw that one. I'll skip that <laughs> one. That doesn't happen. But favorite all ops? Right. That we can go on for like 15 minutes talking about it. Yeah, right. There's so many of them. <laughs> All right, but thanks for tuning in. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Squad Ops signing off. <laughs>